Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual because this probably marks the end of your fantastic day. <laughs> they did it. They did it. The James K. Fillin tweet came out. This was the one time in my life where I did not want to see a James K. Fillin tweet anytime soon. And fellas, it has come out. It has come out. As you can clearly see the whole market today with crypto, not doing too much. XRP, yeah, we're down a little bit here. All right. James K. Fillon, breaking. The SEC Gov has followed the notice of appeal of Judge Torres' ruling. This comes out about 30 minutes ago. Notice of appeal to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. Please take notice that the Plaintiff Securities and Exchange Commission hereby respectfully appeals to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit from the final judgment entered by this court on August 7th, 2024. Yet again, yet again, the SEC, you know, just coming after the judge. Like I've told you guys a lot of times that um, throughout, you know, the documentation of this case, uh, it really hasn't even felt like Ripple versus SEC. It just kind of feels like the judge versus the SEC um, because of how many things have happened where the SEC gets overruled, overturned, gets caught red-handed, contacting Ripple's overseas customers that have nothing to do with the case, trying to pull free information out of them. So, fellas, I just want to say, um, through this whole experience, Judge Torres has been an absolute angel for the XRP community. Um, she was the one that declared us legal status of not being a security. And I do have some good news for you guys. Again, because I am not a lawyer. I am not an attorney. I don't have a bar card. I do not have legal experience. But uh, I got a little article here that, yes, a, uh, a judge can deny an appeal for several reasons. So I am hoping for a prompt, swift response uh, from Judge Torres, and again, you guys have to admit, um, throughout this whole experience, which I know is a letdown right now, throughout this whole experience, Judge Torres has really had our back, and has really, you know, focused what is law, and not just what the SEC wants throughout the whole case, okay? So a judge can deny an appeal, alright? So that's the next kind of thing we're looking towards here, because this appeal could be denied, and then on that basis, everything's over, okay? So yes, a judge can deny an appeal for several reasons, including lack of legal basis. The appeal may not have a legal basis, such as violation of rights, bias trial judge, or denial of counsel. Number two, reasonable lower court decision. The judge may believe the lower court's decision was reasonable. You know, Ripple coughing up $125 million. They might look at that and go, hey, um... What's the problem here? You guys got a nine-figure score. What what seems to be the issue? Okay. Third reason, insignificant legal issue. The legal issue may not be significant enough to warrant review. I'm not sure that's kind of in the case here. And the fourth one, uh, appeal mistakes. The appeal may contain mistakes or a weak argument. So it does seem like um, we might have a good chance here at an appeal being struck down and just being denied. I'm not sure if this is Judge Torres that denies it or it is the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, the higher court. Um, so we're just going to have to see, guys. Uh, of course, oh, the SEC just did it at the last second, dude. We had maybe, what, four or five days left and they just had to come in at the last second. would have been much easier. They just would have done the appeal right away, just like two days after. You know, kind of get it over with, be efficient. <laughs> Why would the U.S. government be efficient? No point in doing that, right? Anyways, fellas, um, yeah, this kind of sucks because just yesterday we had, like, the first XRP ETF filing, which just today came up on the SEC website of being, like, an official S1 application. So that's kind of interesting, but, yeah, right the day after. What was funny is um, I have my streaming laptop on with the, uh, you know, the charts up and stuff, and XRP kept dropping, and I'm like, why is XRP dropping? I'm like, what, what's going on here? And then suddenly TradingView pops up this little thing that says 37 minutes ago, XRP price collapses as SEC dot dot dot. And once I saw that, I was like, oh my God, I think I know exactly what happened. But honestly, guys, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, I know it sucks, but look, XRP in of itself, not a security. A final judgment was issued by Judge Torres. And now, by God, if we can get the appeal denied, 
that is exactly what we are looking forward to. And again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not an attorney. I would love to hear uh, John Deaton, uh, Jeremy Hogan, James K. Fillon, Fred Rispoli, um, all the, you know, XRP community lawyers um, to kind of come in and comment and, you know, kind of shed some light on the situation. Uh, I would like to know um, more reasons as to why a judge could deny an appeal. And again, I would also like to note if this is up to Judge Torres to appeal or deny, or this is like the, the higher court of appeals for the Second Circuit. So I'm not sure if Judge Torres has any part in this, but um, we will have to see. We will have to see. Can the U.S. government just have a just a silver lining of fucking honesty and come out and say, eh, you know, the SEC, I mean, come on, guys. It's been four years. It's not a security. You got your 125 mil nine-figure score. I mean, what more do you want here? A billion? Two billion? I mean, what do you really want here? So hopefully um, the court can say, you know what? The judge, you know, the lower court's decision was actually very, very reasonable. There's no reason to appeal this. That's what I'm honestly looking forward to. So... Anyways, guys, um, that is it for the video today. Um, I think I will go on for a live stream today. I'm not quite sure. Um, in other news, I mean, there actually was another XRP ETF filed a week before the Bitwise one that we didn't know about. It was called the Canary XRP ETF. So it's like technically we got two ETF applications for XRP filed. So we're just going to have to see. Uh, in terms of the charts, yeah, might as well kind of take a look at this now. Um, I think for the best perspective probably looking at something like a daily chart here um to see the appeal candle you can already see it on the monthly right there dude that's that's the appeal candle right there um over on the daily here yep sec comes right in or no on this candle actually that's where they came right in uh and we do have a general um i don't know what how i guess this is too broad of a range but essentially this is our support range kind of right here uh we can catch a bounce here, kind of stabilize. That would be very nice, actually. That would be uh, three higher lows in a row if it could kind of end up stabilizing right here and go for a reversal. Um, because then at that point, you know, you'd have like the one liquidation low, higher low, second liquidation, higher low, and then we could run a higher low again, making a really nice kind of uh, daily chart trend here. So, fellas, we're just going to see... Um, now is the time again. Yeah, look back forward to the James K. Phil and Twitter account. Um, and yeah, guys, we're just gonna, you know, just another step in the journey. Let's get this piece of hell over with. And um, yeah, one more thing I'm reading from this article about can a judge deny an appeal. So when a losing party in a lawsuit appeals to a higher court, the higher court reviews the case for legal errors. If the appeal is granted, the lower court's decision may be reversed in whole or in part. If the appeal is denied, the lower court's decision stands. So if the appeal is denied... That will be it for the whole case. Like, that's it. All right? So, fellas, we need to get this appeal denied. If it is denied, the lower court's decision stands set in stone. So, if this appeal gets denied, coupled with RLUSD going live and more XRP ETF applications coming in, dude, we could set up a really, really nice catalyst here. I'm just trying to stay positive and understand that, yeah, the SEC, they went ahead and appealed. I mean, why wouldn't they do it last minute? That's the kinds of human trash that they are to you know delay it to the last second but if the appeal gets denied that is end of story for ripple versus sec and that'll be a thing of the past all right fellas let's see what the rest of the week brings on for us and i'll see you guys in the next one